welcome back to Quarantine Quiet Time, day number six. We are going through the series Vibes on the YouVersion Bible app. So make sure that you guys are friends with the OCF on there so you can follow along so we can be connecting with each other daily through scripture, sharing what we're learning and what God is doing in our hearts. And also allowing us to just be able to connect and talk to each other because we haven't seen each other in a bit. So this morning we are going to be in 1 Samuel 14, 6. It says, Jonathan said to the attendant who carried his weapons, Come on, let's cross over the garrison of these uncircumcised men. Perhaps the Lord will help us. Nothing can keep the Lord from saving, whether by many or by few. Definitely um, a weird verse sometimes to think about of how things like this in the middle of a story can relate to us personally today when sometimes we're reading the bible we're reading along and following along with what is going on with the characters and who is in the specific story but it can be hard to see that there are still nuggets of wisdom like this one um just like how the devotion said it is not the most common thing for us to be in a physical battle with other people, especially in the country that we live in in this day and age. It's not as common for people to really experience going to battle with somebody else in another country or whatnot, but we still battle things every single day. Um, but what we have control of is not necessarily if we get put into a battle or not, because maybe it's something that we're facing from a a circumstance that is completely unrelated to us and out of our control, such as maybe we're going through a really hard time because maybe your parents are getting divorced or you are having um, a lot of fear and anxiety over uh, school because it's just been really hard online. Whatever it might be, um, we still have the choice to look and see that God can get us through anything. It's easier said than done sometimes, and it can be really hard to know it in our heads and also know it in our hearts as well and live as though we know that God is going to do these things. I encourage you guys to, number one, notice what battles you are going through. It definitely can be hard sometimes when you are feeling down, maybe a little bit more attitude, you're grumpy at home, but you're not realizing that you are experiencing a lot of stress. Maybe you're really sad because things are different, or maybe you are just having a really hard time um, overcoming something mentally that's going on with you. But we can look at this verse and be encouraged that God does see people that go through battles and all of us are facing a battle and he can get us through any of them, especially when it's something that we need to be leaning on God to go through in the first place. Whether it's something dealing with mental health or it's an actual um, tangible circumstance that you're put in that is really difficult, our first response should be that we can look at this verse just as Jonathan did and said that he can get us through things and that God will save us and it in whatever battle that we're facing. So I encourage you guys to pray and think about what battles you guys are experiencing right now and asking God to just come and be your support, come and guide you through them. Ask him to just put people in your life that are going to um, just encourage you and help you be um, on your team and on your side as you go through the battles of life. We all have them. We all can experience them. So you're not alone in facing whatever battle that you're facing. And me, Ryan, all the other leaders that you guys have and your friends at UCF are all here to love and support you. So I hope you guys have enjoyed the message this morning and we 